driving Tampa Bay Ford, city officials are now hoping a little grant money will help them revamp an area of South St. Petersburg. The now's Heather Lee with the big changes on the way. Breathing life back into this historic district of St. Pete. It's what officials are hoping to get started on at the beginning of the new year. I think it kind of put St. Pete on the map as being a bike friendly town. Justin Lattice grew up in the area. He rides down 22nd Street South a lot and says distracted driving is pretty common. They're not paying attention. They're not looking at their surroundings. Right. The city says speeding is also something they're hoping to curb by shrinking travel lanes slightly, making room for wider and consistent bike lanes from 1st Avenue South to 15th Avenue South. It would be good to slow the traffic down a bit and give the bikers and walkers a little more elbow room. Other plans include wider sidewalks, three brand new parks and brick paving. The city wants the area to become a destination for folks. And if a driver doesn't want to slow down, they can take 20th Street or another street. So they have options, you know, and if they but if they know if they're on 22nd Street, they have to slow down, which I think is fine. The city worked with Ford Pinellas complete streets earlier this year to take MLK from four lanes down to three, adding in two traffic buffered bike lanes. The city is now applying for a $1 million grant from the group for this project and will use funds already set aside to complete the design phase in 2019. Heather Lee for the now Tampa Bay.